So I gotta get my pre-surgery COVID test. I'm not looking forward to it. Six stains enter the ring. Only one can be the winner. Let's find out who's got the best stain to make it to the top. Yes. Yes. So I don't stick out like... Oh my god! <laughs> so fancy! <laughs> Welcome to Wormtown. So we can make a little worm farm to store in the bus. It's 5.15 in the morning and we're heading to the hospital. We're Mela and Don. We uprooted our lives and left Los Angeles with the dream of converting an MCI D3 40 foot bus into a tiny home on wheels. We are sharing our progress one bite at a time. <laughs> what? How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? <laughs> <laughs> It's a crisp 52 degrees in here. So we're gonna take the skylights covers off, which should be free heating thanks to that radiant heat. So last night we sat down and created a to-do list. But the most organized to-do list we've ever, ever had. <laughs> and this to-do list is because we don't want to be here this winter. We want to be somewhere warm and we made a list of everything we need or have to do in order to live in the bus. So we have our essential list and we have given ourselves rough estimate dates that we need to accomplish each of these jobs by in order to be able to hit the road before it gets too cold. So we're not going to tell you what those dates are yet, but I'll tell you that today, we have to install the kitchen cabinets to stay on track. So this is my bedroom in here. <laughs> Through the top and see if I'm hitting that snag. Yeah, you're hitting it. Eight and three quarters. Right here. All right now. Yeah, I see you. I would say it's like ice fishing, but I've never done ice fishing. <laughs> How do you know if you hit it? No real way to know until I put the screw in here. Yeah, that felt like it was really good. Good. Now, how many screws does it say? to put your cabinet in your cabinet to keep it from <laughs> flying around in a bus convertible. It's feeling pretty solid. One might even go so far as to say super solid. So the plan is to fasten these into the metal beam that runs all the way down the side of the bus. But I want to use a washer. And this is what I've opted to use as my washer. So this way my wood to metal little screw will go through the washer, through the cabinet, and then into the metal beam of the bus. That should keep it really secure. All right, it's in there. Yeah, this, this thing is very solid in here. For moving forward, I believe there's also ways to connect each cabinet to each other with some mountings that they supplied with it. So. I think the next thing we're going to do is just bring everything from our kitchen cabinet order into the bus, set it in the bedroom so we can see all the labels and figure it out from there. that's lower than everything else is going to be where our sink is. So the sink will sit above here, gets mounted above this box. Okay, 
uh, cabinets are all connected to each other and screwed into the wall and the toe kicks and so now we're going to put all our door fronts and drawers together so let's go 0706 check should be two of them 0706 times two We've got some edge banding that we're going to put on the front of all our cabinet boxes. Do you feel better about using edge banding right now than you did last time? Yeah, because we used this. Well, this is the edge banding we used in our skylight um, hatches. Mm -hmm. And this one's easy. You just peel and stick. <laughs> Now I'm realizing that you probably can't see any of this on camera, but it looks so much better. Basically there's a very light texture to the boxes, the way that they're shipped. The edge banding is the exact same color as the fronts, and now that we've got to put it on, it'll match the doors and drawers and everything. The doors right here went on pretty smooth. We've got a few more doors and drawers to put on, but I don't think it's going to take us very long. Fingers crossed it goes as smooth as that one. We need 3802, that one. So this guy just gets, but here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine. It's so much fun, you just want to do it all day. <laughs> Sink fits and then figure out how to mount it in there. Perfect fit. So it'll stick out like. Stick out wherever yeah. you want it to. So, what I want to do then is. Oh my god! So <laughs> fancy! <laughs> So I gotta get my pre-surgery COVID test. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hope it's not the old brain scrubber I like I like had. It's going to tickle my brain. Oh, just know it'll be over soon. It's not fun, but it'll be over soon. <laughs> Oh no! 
nervous because I had watched him have his pre-surgery COVID test and he was choking and spluttering and so I was pretty nervous and it was totally fine. It was not a big deal at all. It just, the swab goes up your nose and it tickles, but it was totally fine. I didn't need to be anxious at all. She said men are dramatic <laughs> when I told her what happened with him. But to be fair, when I got mine, the lady said, don't grab my arm and don't puke on me. And then she jabbed it up my nose. Yeah, I... What is that bag for? It's worms. So we can make a little worm farm to store in the bus. So the worms get shipped in dry peat moss. And they said the first thing you should do is give them a little bit of water just to help rehydrate them and let's hope they're still alive. I really don't see much movement in there but hopefully we'll get them set up in their new home soon and they'll recover from their trip. Built out the sink supports and under sink face which will paint the same color. We just gotta pick up some paint. I've never mounted a sink in. I'm pretty sure this is all we need to do to have it in place. And then we'll actually use some silicone under the bottom of the steel against the wood to put a seal on that. And this is an undermount apron sink, so the countertop will actually sit on top of the sink itself when it's done. You might remember several videos ago, back in the olden days, when we first put our TV lift together. Now. We had extremely little carpentry skills at that point, and I'm not going to say that we are great carpenters at this point, but our skills have improved greatly. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back together, and as I do, I'm curious to see if I'm going to go ahead and live with it the way it is, or if I'm going to go ahead and redo some parts. go ahead and use some of the cabinet connectors to hook the TV lift cabinet to the next cabinet. Welcome to Wormtown. We're using a two bucket system, two five gallon buckets. All we're going to do is put some holes in the bottom of one of the buckets. And the holes in the bottom drain out any uh, liquid so it doesn't get too full of moisture. The holes at the top are just to make sure they have air so they can breathe and stay alive. I've seen other people who have worm farms in their bus luggage bays and it seems to work for them. We should be able to keep our worms alive and without too many smells. I think the biggest challenge of having a worm farm in a bus is temperature control, making sure they don't get too cold or too hot. I'm cutting the screen just slightly larger than the bucket bottom. Yeah, it's gonna work great. Bella's informed me that we're putting a screen across the top also. That way the worms don't pull a Mission Impossible <laughs> and try to get out the top of the bucket. Let this act as a documentation in case we're attacked by a herd of worms and never seen from again. You know what happened, people. The water that drains out is going to be full of nutrients and good stuff that you can use to fertilize plants. And of course the worms are going to be inside turning our food scraps into nutrient rich soil. Now the reason I wanted to try this instead of just throwing out food scraps into the trash is because I don't think that 
traveling and living a nomadic lifestyle should mean you live a wasteful lifestyle. Definitely has some challenges being on the road. Um, I know recycling is going to be tougher on the road than when you are living in a house. And I know there are some other options out there, but we thought we'd start with this worm farm because it's really easy and cheap. We've glued it around the edges and now we're just gonna let it dry and then we'll put the worms in their hole and see what happens. And uh, we can give them some food. What are they having for dinner tonight? They're having some shredded lettuce with some coffee grind dressing, <laughs> cucumber ends, and I think there's a little onion skin. Delicious. Back to TV lift cabinet. Boy, custom cabinets are tough. I'm now modifying it to get it to fit in the space. A few little funky things going on, but I think we're gonna make it work. You got two inspectors making sure you did everything right today. Everything okay? Those drawers can be adjusted. I just haven't got to that part yet. Alright guys, should we carry on with our walk? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Good kitties. Bye. As I've put this TV lift together, there's a couple choices we made early on in our first cabinet that we ever built using half inch plywood instead of three quarter inch. And also, not quite really thinking about it as a standing desk. So I'm gonna make a couple revisions, I think. But I got the base together. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day and maybe have some quiet time in the morning to reflect on some modifications for mounting the fireplace in there as well as a little shelf uh, that I want to have in this area here above the fireplace so that we can keep remotes and keyboards, trackpads, things like that there. The glue is dried, so I've got a layer of peat moss that I've put in the bottom of the bucket, and now I'm gonna dump my worms in. Okay, wormies. Welcome to your new home. There they are, I see them wiggling. Oh, look at them. <laughs> After that, I'm putting a layer of moist paper and I'm gonna just throw in some veggie scraps right away, give them some dinner. What you think, Mr. Sweet? And that's it. I wouldn't say I'm a morning person but I do like to get work done in the morning. I like the feeling of resetting the day so you've got the possibility of making some big progress. Today I'm gonna to try to cut new faces and some new pieces for the TV lift fireplace cabinet. I don't want anything left The camera died. I didn't notice it because I've been so in the zone working on this. Basically, I had to uh, redesign and 
it's starting to really come together. I think it's going to be really solid. Finally ready to mount our L cabinet over there and get all the boxes together, drawers, and put it together. That does not look right, honey. Uh -oh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wah, wah. Just <laughs> makes it without getting there. <laughs> I just want to put together pre made cabinets. It's actually fun. For the next house we build, we're just going to get everything pre manufactured and just put it together. No problem, this is easy. We're a great team putting together pre-made stuff. <laughs> oh, something's wrong. <laughs> oh, that bottom one's in the wrong it's place. It's in the wrong place. <laughs> well, it's not gonna work. Just when we were saying how we were old pros at this. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Done. That's for you. We're gonna try to get the rest of the bathroom wall finished. All right, I'm gonna call it a day. Get out of here. Kind of worn out. We've been changing our schedule. Mila's surgery is coming up in a couple days. She needs to be there ready at 6 a.m which means we'll probably be getting up at three. So right now we're getting up about five, 5.30, trying to get adjusted to that time a little bit. So we're just not so out of it on our way to the surgery. According to our schedule, which I hinted at, I'm almost caught up, but not quite. And it's only been day three since we started the schedule. I'm feeling anxious about it. I really want to get ahead of the schedule. Usually I have a ton of schedules of deadlines and I like to be way early. So I have tons of time to compensate if something goes wrong. Unfortunately, the first couple things on our list were get the kitchen together, get this wall up and get the TV lift up. If I haven't mentioned it thus far, Today, it's taking me considerably longer to get this stuff done, mostly because I'm kind of reworking the TV lift so it will be really solid and we'll be very happy with the design and it'll be very functional for us. That said, I'm feeling really good about it right now. There's no faces on anything. This drawer right here still needs to be done, but I'll figure that out. I think the most important thing is to keep moving full steam ahead. All right, I'm going to wrap it up and we'll see you guys tomorrow. It's the day before my surgery today and we decided to just take the day off and take it super duper easy and have a good time. Chill out. But yesterday we got a bunch of samples for Rubio's Monaco, which we're thinking of using on our kitchen countertops. So, I'm excited about seeing what they look like. 
So we're gonna come and get some of the leftover pieces of the ashwood back here, sand it down, and do some testing. Now we're gonna get the kitchen countertops planed and we'll spend a lot of time sanding them, but we figured to do the test, we can just use our belt sander to get a smooth surface and that should be enough for testing. We feel like we've given it enough of a sand in that in certain places we'll be able to test out this Rubio's Monocoat. It's a linseed oil based finish. It has the stain in it and it finishes it all in one coat. And we're just going to try out a few different colors. In case you missed it, a couple of weeks ago we milled a giant ash tree that had fallen in my parents' backyard. As we cut a whole bunch of slabs that we're going to turn into our kitchen countertop. Six stains enter the ring. Only one can be the winner. Let's find out who's got the best stain to make it to the top of our kitchen countertops. So there's some different techniques for putting this on, but uh, we're just gonna use a rag today because it's just a test. First up, it's biscuit. Next up is pure. A little antique bronze for you. White, 5%. Hmm. And smoke, 5%. Hmm. Very similar to white. It's got more purple to it. Though. And we'll miss 5% change everything. Pure is more traditionally what we we're kind of thinking, or at least I, I had in my head. Yeah. Just a nice warm finish. Antique brown is a definite no for me. Yeah, no. Biscuit, I love, but I can tell you don't like it. I don't like it. White five percent is okay. Well, these are surprising me. I mean, I can't quite see the difference between white and smoke, but it does remind me of our floors. And then mist five percent. It's got this almost whitewash look, but it's the green color in it makes uh, the warm color stand out more. We decided we're gonna take it inside the bus so we can kind of look at it with our furniture and our floors and compare the colorings. All right, do you have a decision? No. Do you have a final thought? <sighs> no. I have a final thought, which is that we should order more samples because I don't think any of these are what we want. We're gonna wrap it up here for tonight. Gotta get to bed really early. Probably get up about three to take Mella in. She's gotta get in for her surgery tomorrow. It's 5.15 in the morning and we're heading to the hospital. This is very early for us, but we've been waking up early to prepare, so it doesn't feel too bad for me. Um, but there's a surprising amount of people on the road at 5.30 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where are y'all going? amount of nervousness, but... We're just kind of waiting now. We've got her surgery case number, and I'll be able to go in with her for a little bit. And then after they get started, they said that I'll be able to see on a screen, like a prompter, 
where she's at in her surgery so I have an idea of what's going on. So they just called Mella in for pre-op. I think they're just gonna get in there and check her vitals and get her set up in the right clothing. And then I'm gonna be able to get and go back and hang out with her until uh, she goes into surgery, so. Here it goes. <laughs> 